All righty, let's take care of business first. Day number 2,000 in a row, shaving with no, no skip days. Um, here's the, here's the piff box. Ooh, heavy. Let's see. Let's do, you got the box. You got the SV box. Um, I got it. It's mostly soaps. Go back and watch how many, I'm not going to recap all the soaps. You got the videos. Go watch the videos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen soaps. One aftershave, I think, what, three razors? Seventeen soaps, three razors, an aftershave, minimum. Minimum. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If, if I got some empty space upon... Uh, Filling up, I got to get a bigger box. It did not fit in there. So, uh, I might add some more. Might add some. I don't have anything. There's nothing here right now uh, that I'll guarantee that I'll throw in there. Um, and I was like, what, what special shave should I have for day number 2000? And I went back and looked. Do you hear that? Yesterday, I thought it was a toilet running. Very long story short, I think it's a pin prick hole in a copper pipe in uh, behind my shower. <clears throat> Did some investigation. Let the landlord know. She said, all right, I'll call a plumber. Haven't heard a word. So, you know what? Whatever. I did my job. Uh, I'm a bit uh, done with trying to to problem solve for other folks when if it's my house you know it, it was a today's monday it was a sunday but they got 24 7 plumbers just sitting there leaking in your wall i'd have somebody jump all over it instead of your waiting for your normal guy but what is what is it's piff day um oh yeah so i didn't even finish that so today's the day comment below i'm in that's it, and you got to subscribe to this channel and Drinks and Days. You're not subscribed to both, you can't win. That's all there is, and I don't know how much money. I mean, you got to figure pretty much minimum. Any of the soaps I put in there is 10 bucks minimum? Even if not, even if not, 17 soaps of 5 bucks a soap, we're up at almost 100 bucks. Three razors. You're getting yourself a nice little prize, con con concontinental U.S. only. Asterisks, asterisks. Um, so, well, here's my here's my. Just because I like it, it's heavy. I like it. I like how sharp the knurling is. I like the looks of it. So it's a Rex Ambassador adjustable set on two. Is my choice razor choice of the day. And. Uh, so I looked up what was the, what was shave number one after I missed the last day. And it was a junky shave. I commented like I was still trying to figure out some razors and blades. And uh, I forget what the, the razor was, but it's, it's something like this. It was an open comb uh, <clears throat> that I didn't get a very good shave with. The shave soap. I remember it was a captain's choice. Um, whatever their equivalent, is it Venture? No, whatever their equivalent to Fine Platinum was. Cause I was thinking Fine Platinum I like better. I still do have Fine Platinum. I thought about using that and trying to recreate that shape. I'm like, no, no. I enjoy almost all my shades, but I'm like, this is gonna be, this is for me. So what did I, I pulled out the soap. That I'm a little judicious in using. Cause it because it stinks to some people. Razor Rock. Diovo. The one that smells like campfire. So I'm just living in this. Living in this. What else today? I'm not sure today. I might watch football. I haven't watched a football game for years. But I hear pray tell they canceled one yesterday because of the weather was so bad. And they're going to play it today. And even if you're not into football, who doesn't love you some football in the snow? 
That's just exciting. And I heard, heard through the Cadre grapevine that some game yesterday, one of the quarterbacks got hit, and it was so cold a chunk of his helmet came flying out. I was like, well, you know, that it kind of doesn't make sense then to me because they got all these regulations, right? They talk about they're concerned about long-term neurological effects of all these hits on their players. The players' union wants their people to be safe, enjoy their retirement, all makes sense. But I was like, if it's so cold that your helmet is breaking, then that means that all the formable, squishable, whatever material, deformable, has got to be rock hard, which means it's no longer protecting your head. And I'm like, wait, if I just realized that not watching football in about 10 seconds and being told it was so cold somebody's helmet broke apart, where's all the advocates for the patient safety? And then, and then, to support my genius. This morning, I just happened to scroll along and happened to scroll along a video. Two football players, for some reason, talking about how hot the warming bench is. And they said, it's not warming. It is hot, hot, hot. Like, if you're not careful, they said you can burn your calves on it. So they don't like sitting on it unless they are absolutely freezing. And, um... And you see those big, it looks like big jet engine, like heating things. And one of the guys said that they saw a football player had that big, huge coat that they'll put on them between, you know, offense and defense. They're on the sidelines with these big, huge coats and it was full of down. And I guess it burst into flames because the heat coming out of that thing was so hot. But they did say that, uh, That, that, uh, that so they're talking about how, how cold it is and they mentioned so the one thing they'll do is put their helmets on the bench to warm up their helmets so they're nice and toasty but they said it's the same thing that their helmets get rock hard when it's that cold out so I am a little stymied how uh, they can have regulations and be up in arms and stuff safety wise and regulate I've seen it. I've seen how they test, you know, the football helmets and drop stuff on them and measure, you know, impact and all that stuff. But that's like at room temperature. What when it gets cold, all the rules just fly out the window and 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 it's like they're wearing blocks of ice on their head, and that's just the way it is. It seems odd to me from a safety perspective and protecting the player. Because per the player's own comments, this isn't like some dude that doesn't want football just contemplating on the sidelines. I mean, they could have said, oh yeah, we have to pull out the special anti-freeze gel helmets when it gets below a certain temperature. That would make sense. That's not what they said. They said, oh yeah, our helmets get hard as heck when it's cold out. But what's up with that? Somebody explain that one to me. I don't get it. There we go, just like that, in front of your own eyes, 2,000 days of shaving in a row is completed. Check mark, check mark. Where, where, oh, should we do a retrospective? This would be like when like there's like quiet music and a photo montage and stuff. Where have we been? in the last 2,000 days of shaving. <laughs> We've been to Mexico, Hawaii, countless cruises, Europe, including Mexico, like the Caribbean, Iceland. We've been all over, all over. And now we're in a leaky bathroom. Bring it back to reality. There we go. There's lemon for you. There's lemon. What else, what else has changed? There's lemon. Then standard. Standard. I mean, we 
we, we went off the track there a little bit with the quins. Still got it. I got it. I'm not, I haven't dumped it down the sink yet. Might someday. But um, I come back around to quins. We still get the pa. This moment will probably be about, about ombre barbershop. That's we the smelling barbershop in Tucson. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, I don't know when I started using this stuff. It might not have been standard kit two thousand shaves ago, but it's been around. This is, but this is one of the only things I don't bring this with me um, when I fly. When I fly, because. How would you, I don't want to bring this big glass bottle and you can't, I guess you, I guess I could whop it and then into a smaller bottle. Did I just get a bunch in the cap? Um, maybe I'll do that. Maybe why deny myself? You're right. You're right. Um, but I do bring, I do bring a little plastic bottle of some, uh, witch hazel or whatever you want to term that as, um, what else is changed? Oh, we switched from um, feather used to be my blade of choice for most shaves to wisdomit. Wisdomit took over. Um, I don't know how much I was into the open blade shaves way back then. Um, maybe I was, but that's that that is that's the majority of shaves now is open blade. I don't think it was probably the majority back then probably bounced around between single edge and double edge shaves what else that's it it's just shaving i'm sure i was cold water shaving back then i learned that early on cold water makes the skin feel better anyway i didn't say i didn't say we'll give the contest my plan is until sunday we'll see how sunday morning is that's my plan right now um at noon um i do have uh Something I need to do. So uh, I have to figure out how to do the randomization. I don't, I don't have that many people. As long as it's under a, a realistic number, maybe I'll just number everybody and do random number generation. My hope is, though, Sunday morning shave all announce the winner. It's Monday, so it gives you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Six days, is that enough? Six days that you can catch up. I guess that's fair, because if you're watching it three weeks in that, from now... You know, I'm going after those that are just invested in that. Anyway, does that cover it? And then, and then between, so I, I figure out how I call the winner. I check your member of both sides. And then I got to figure out how to get in touch with you. Because I don't think you can PM on YouTube anymore. We'll figure it out. I got six days. See you on the forums.